Binance busts stablecoin trading suspended by Coinbase over liquidity concerns. What's going on? Coinbase has proceeded with the planned suspension of Binance USD bus trading, disabling trading for the stablecoin on all its platforms. We have disabled trading for Binance USD bus, the United States-based cryptocurrency exchange said in a March 13 tweet, adding that users will continue to have access to their bus funds and will be able to withdraw them at any time. The exchange initially revealed plans to suspend bus trading late last month, citing listing standards as being the reason behind the decision. The suspension affects Coinbase, Com, Coinbase Pro, Coinbase Exchange, and Coinbase Prime. The move came after the New York Department of Financial Services DFS ordered Paxos, a crypto firm that issues Binance's stablecoin Binance USD Bust, to stop minting bust tokens. In a consumer alert, the DFS said it issued the order as a result of several unresolved issues related to Paxos' oversight of its relationship with Binance. Subsequently, it was revealed that the SEC had issued a Wells notice to Paxos and plans to sue the company over its bust issuance. The agency argued that bust is considered an unregistered security. Following the regulatory clampdown, Paxos announced it would end its relationship with Binance and would stop issuing new bust tokens tokens from February 21. However, the company will continue to support and redeem the tokens until at least February 2024. The bus market cap has been trending downward over the past couple of weeks, since no new tokens are being issued. According to data by CoinMarketCap, bus market cap, which stood at around $16.05 billion earlier this year, has dropped to around $8.04 billion. Meanwhile, in terms of price stability, Bust has been able to maintain its dollar peg despite the recent pressure. Usk loses peg amid banking crisis in the U.S. Over the weekend, Usk, a regulated stablecoin, issued by Circle, fell from its dollar peg after it was revealed that more than $3 billion of its reserves were held in an account at the fallen lender Silicon Valley Bank. The stablecoin slid to an all-time low of around $8,774 on Saturday amid rising uncertainty. However, it started recovering after Circle pledged to cover any shortfall in the stablecoin's reserves if it does not receive the entirety of the $3.03 billion held at SVB. Furthermore, U.S. regulators approved plans to backstop depositors and financial institutions linked with parent company SVB. Following the approval of several measures over the weekend, depositors of both SVB and Signature Bank, which closed on Sunday due to similar concerns over systemic contagion, will have unrestricted access to their deposits. Meanwhile, USK is currently trading at nearly its intended peg of $1 after experiencing substantial redemptions and a market cap decline of over $3 billion amidst the ongoing situation involving U.S. banks.